Here's how you can fiercely improve your Google Shopping and Performance Max campaigns results by adding star ratings from your Shopify store to your ads, just like you can see here. I can't stress enough how easy it is to add those reviews to your campaigns and also the impact they have on your campaigns. For you to have an idea, we added one of our clients to reviews to their campaigns in April and right after we had a huge increase in results. Let me show you on that account. So as you can see here, this is one of our clients campaigns. Uh, this is one ad set that is on the lower spending side. Uh, and this is March from the first 31st. And as you can see here, this campaign was at a 2.36 conversion rate, uh, spending something around 2000, made back 12,000 on a 5.8 ROAS. Now, if we move to, uh, we added the reviews in April uh, here. If we, we, we move to May, one month after, what you see is that the conversion rate on the campaign doubled, the cost actually decreased, but the conversion value substantially increased and the ROAS doubled. So the results are that much better. And this is not even a crazy spending account. So just for you to see that this is something that does not require a lot of budget, even on if you have a small store or uh, a smaller account, you can actually benefit a lot from those reviews. On the higher uh, uh, spending end, uh, we are seeing crazy results as well. Very, very, uh, very easy addition to the account that completely changed the results. Now, if we compare May uh, with March, um, which is uh, before and after we added the reviews, you can see that the conversion rate actually increased by 82%. The CPC dropped substantially. We had more conversions, 50% more conversions. Our cost per conversion dropped by 57% and our conversion value went up 43%. And the combination of all those variables made the ROAS increase 124%. So a crazy difference, a very, very substantial difference just by adding the reviews. That was the main thing we changed on the ad account uh, uh, in this process. So now let's take a look uh, on how to actually add the reviews. So in our case, we are using Looks, which is basically this review app that allows us to easily integrate one another because they are a Google review partner which means we can basically import directly our reviews to uh, Google Merchant Center, making the whole thing way easier. So basically you have to see if you have uh, a review app that is a partner with Google. If not, then you probably will have to upload uh, manually, your reviews manually to your campaigns. I'm going to drop in the description a link on how you can do that. And the step-by-step -step today we're going to focus on uh, the more automated method which is, I think, what you should be using if you have the chance uh, to have uh, an app that is a partner with Google. So basically what you do is they will add your reviews directly to your listings. Uh, it's going to show very beautifully when someone searches for your product and really stands out because some brands don't have this setup. Most brands actually don't have this setup. So you should be able to really highlight your products that way. Now let's take a look on how to actually add those to your store, the actual step-by-step. Uh, uh, step. So all you gotta do is go to your uh, Shopify dashboard. You go to apps. Okay, I'm not going on the home because that's a client account, but you go to apps. Then you're going to look for your reviews app. In our case, that's looks. So you just click this, uh, go to open app on the top right. Here, um, you're going to have your dashboard. You just go to settings. Here on settings, you just go to integrations. And here you're going to see Google Shopping. So that was recently announced. Uh, I think they announced this uh, March this year and they announced the partnership actually. And here you're going to see uh, some really basic fields. It's extremely easy to do. So uh, first your product ID, how you wanna match your reviews with your products. So you have to choose at least one of those two. Um, when you upload your products to, to Google via the Google app, uh, you're going to have at least one of those two set up. So you just choose whatever one you already have set up. Uh, we have another video going to how to upload your products to Google. What's the best way to do so? Uh, and so you should find information on those two topics there. So just choose yours. So in this case, I picked the MPN and I used, uh, I included from barcode the data from the barcode uh, section. The prefix you just leave as is. Uh, they are going to suggest the Shopify one. And then uh, you just toggle this on, automatically sync reviews with Google 
uh, shopping. One thing you notice is that it takes a lot of time for the reviews to be added to your campaigns to start printing on your campaigns. That's normal. Uh, Google has a, a, a very in-depth review process before they, they actually add your reviews to your campaigns. So in our case, it took a, a, for this account specifically, it took about one month for the reviews to start showing on the campaigns. You may expect something uh, similar. Okay. For this client, they have a lot of reviews. So that's uh, also something that may have increased the time frame there, but you have fewer reviews that should be easier. And that's pretty much it. That's how you add your reviews to your Google shopping campaigns to fiercely improve results. Okay. I hope this video brought you value. I hope this video helped you add your reviews with ease. And I hope to see you next week for another video like this. Check the first link in the description where you can learn more about our Google ads agency. We are basically going to help you increase your Google ads results substantially completely done for you. If you need help with performance max campaigns, with your shopping campaigns and so on, click the link, learn more about what we can do for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.